Good morning, welcome to Oil for the Journey. I'm your journey reader, Anita. Today's reading is taken from the book of Job 16, chapters, Job chapter 16 through 18. Our reading follows the Bridges for Peace Ignite the Truth campaign. So without further ado, let's jump in, starting with the beginning of Job 16. Then Job replied, I have heard many things like these. You are miserable comforters, all of you. Will your long-winded speeches never end? What ails you that you keep on arguing? I also could speak like you if you were in my place. I could make fine speeches against you and shake my head at you, but my mouth would encourage you. Comfort from my lips would bring you relief. Yet if I speak, my pain is not relieved, and if I refrain, it does not go away. Surely, God, you have worn me out. You have devastated my entire household. You have shriveled me up and it has become a witness. My gauntness rises up and testifies against me. God assails me and tears me in his anger and gnashes his teeth at me. My opponent fastens on me his piercing eyes. People open their mouths to jeer at me. They strike my cheek in scorn and unite together against me. God has turned me over to the, ungod to the ungodly and thrown me into the clutches of the wicked. All was well with me, but he shattered me. He seized me by the neck and crushed me. He has made me his target. His archers surround me without pity. He pierces my kidneys and spills my gall on the ground. Again and again, he bursts open me. He rushes at me like a warrior. I have sewed sackcloth over my skin and buried my brow in, d in the dust. My face is red with weeping. Dark shadows ring my eyes. Yet my hands have been free of violence. My prayer is pure. Earth, do not cover my blood. May my cry never be laid to rest. Even now, my witness is in heaven. My, av my advocate is on high. My intercessor is my friend. As my eyes pour out tears to God on behalf of a man, he pleads with God as one pleads for a friend. Only a few years will pass before I take the path of no return. Chapter 17. My spirit is broken. My days are cut short. The grave awaits me. Surely mockers surround me. My eyes must dwell on their hostility. Give me, O oh God, the pledge you demand. Who else will put up security for me? You have closed their minds to understanding, therefore you will not let them triumph. If anyone denounces their friends for reward, the eyes of their children will fall. God has made me a byword to everyone, a man in whose face people spit. My eyes have grown dim with grief, my whole frame is but a shadow. The upright are appalled at this, the innocent are aroused against the ungodly. Nevertheless, the righteous will hold to their ways, and those with clean hands will grow stronger. But come on, all of you, try again. I will not find a wise man among you. My days have passed, my plans are shattered, yet the desires of my heart turn night into day. In the face of the darkness, light is near. If the only home I hope for is the grave, if I spread out my bed in the realm of darkness, if I say to corruption, you are my father, and to the worm, my mother or my sister, where then is my hope? Who can see any hope for me? Will it go down? to the gates of death will we descend together into the dust then bildad the shuhite replied when will you end these speeches be sensible and then we can talk why are we regarded as cattle and considered stupid in your sight you who tear yourself to pieces in your anger is the earth to be abandoned for your sake or must the rocks be moved from their place the lamp of a wicked man is snuffed out. The flame of his fire stops burning. The light in his tent becomes dark. The lamp beside him goes out. The vigor of his step is weakened. His own schemes throw him down. His feet thrust into a net. His, he wanders into its mesh. A trap seizes him by the heel. A snare holds him fast. A noose is hidden for him on the ground. A trap lies in his path. Terrors startle him on every side and dog, on, dog his every step. Calamity is hungry for him. Disaster is ready for him when he falls. It eats away parts of his skin. Death's firstborn devours his limbs. He is torn from the security of his net and marched off to the king of terrors. Fire resides in his tent. Burning sulfur is scattered over his dwelling. His roots dry up below and his branches wither above. The memory of him perishes from the earth. He has no name in the land. He is driven from light into the realm of darkness and is banished from the world. He has no offspring or descendants among his people, no survivor where once he lived. The people of the West are appalled at his fate. Those of the East are seized with horror. Surely such is the dwelling of an evil man. Such is the place of one who does not know God. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Father, 
I, I thank you for the lesson of Job. I thank you for how it illustrates your divinity and our humanity. And it illustrates how we can sometimes fail at being the types of friends that we need to be in your name. We can sometimes fail at being the types of friends that you would be to us, that you would be to others, that you would have us be to others. So Lord God, I just pray right now, I want to pray twofold. I want to pray first of all, Lord God, that you would just heal those who are hurting today. There is so much hurt. There is so much calamity in the world right now. There is so much that doesn't make sense. There's so much that grieves the spirit. There's so much mourning. There's so much loss of life. And there's so much disunity, Lord God. And I just pray, Lord God, for your healing upon all of these things in Jesus' name. And I pray for especially those who are mourning today, whether the loss of a loved one or, or life as they know it or loss of, of safety. Lord God, I just pray, Lord God, that you would be with them, Lord God, that you would be with the oppressed today and always and they would feel your presence tangibly and I pray that there would be peace and I look Lord God I also pray for us as Christians Lord God because sometimes we don't say the right things sometimes we mean well sometimes we're trying to do what you've instructed us to do but sometimes we say the wrong things to those who are in mourning to those who have felt great loss recently God and I just pray that you just teach us to be in tune with your spirit sometimes there may be nothing to say at all sometimes it's just a matter of being around such a person and covering them with prayer and standing with them in god so lord god i just pray that you would give us that wisdom and give us that sensitivity and give us that connection with your spirit where we would know what to say at the right time lord god just help us in jesus name i've prayed amen amen thank you